Our next talk uh, will be given by Yoshiro Takahashi, and uh, um, he will be talking about quantum magnetism of the terbium Fermi gases in an optical lattice. Looking yeah. forward to your talk. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, before I'll give you a signal uh, after 20, uh, up to 25 minutes. And if you have five minutes left, I'll give you. OK, yeah, Th thank you. Uh, th thank you very much. Uh, um, before my talk, I'd like to thank the organizers for kind invitation to this interesting workshop. Uh, title of my talk is uh, Quantum Magnetism of Ytrugium Fermi Gases in an Optical Lattice. Let me uh, first introduce our group members. Uh, these people are working very hard. And in particular, these people made a great contribution for the experiment in this talk. OK, uh, this is the outline of my talk. Uh, first, I would like to talk about the quantum simulation, si simulation of SUN Fermi Hubbard model. And next, I would like to also talk about the possibility of a two orbital quantum simulator. And finally, I will summarize my talk. Okay? And first part of my talk is about quantum simulation of a Fermi Hubbard model, uh, the, uh, given uh, like this. And since the classical numerical simulation methods are inefficient for the study of Fermi Hubbard model, therefore, quantum simulation approach using ultra cold atoms in optical lattice is very important for this uh, problem. And now um, uh, we can prepare ultra cold Fermi gas with a temperature uh, much below the Fermi temperature uh, uh, by uh, evaporative cooling technique. And by loading uh, this uh, outer cold Fermi gas into optical lattice, we can su successfully implement the uh, Fermi Hubbard model by using the outer cold atoms in optical lattice. And one of the important uh, uh, target or goal of such a uh, quantum simulation research of a Fermi Hubbard model is uh, uh, to get a deeper insight of the uh, uh, behaviors of the strongly correlated electron system of uh, uh, high tissue cuprate. Uh, here, uh, I show the schematic phase diagram of the high tissue cuprate, and uh, even now, uh, it is not well understood. Okay? And uh, uh, state of the art uh, quantum simulation research of a Fermi Hubbard model now reveal the quantum magnetism of Fermi Hubbard model. And the experimental uh, done by using the two component fermions of alkaline atoms of lithium-6 or potassium-40. And the uh, uh, Etehar group was the first to study the quantum magnetism of a fermi Hubbard model. And the rest group uh, successfully observed the uh, spin correlation in a uh, cubic 3D optical lattice by using a technique of Bragg scattering. And MIT group. Uh, Hubbard group, uh, Max Planck group, and also uh, Princeton group uh, used the quantum gas microscopy to uh, observe the spin correlation of the 1D or 2D uh, optical lattice. And in particular, the Hubbard group uh, observed, uh, uh, created and observed the uh, antiferromagnetic order of the state. And in this uh, workshop, uh, further impressive progresses were reported. And all of these uh, works are really impressive and important achievement. And but, uh, in our approach, uh, uh, different from the alkaline atoms, we are working with the two electron atoms. Uh, therefore, we can study the uh, Fermi Hubbard model with more uh, exotic enlarged spin symmetry of SUN uh, by using the a nuclear spin degrees of freedom of two electron atoms, which are decoupled from the electron uh, angular momentum in this uh, uh, electronic state. And with this uh, SUN Fermi Hubbard model with n spin component, we can study the novel uh, SUN quantum magnetism. Okay. Uh, in the case of SU2, uh, in a, with half filling in a, uh, a square lattice, the antiferromagnetic ordered state is predicted in theory and observed in experiment. And therefore, this is a rather well established both in theory and experiment. But 
in the case of SU3, uh, such a uh, 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 exotic quantum magnetic phases are, are predicted. In the case of SU3, uh, three stripe uh, ordered state is uh, predicted. And in the case of SU4, uh, the nail ordering of the dimerized state is predicted. And in the case of SU5, um, complex uh, sublattice ordering is uh, predicted. And uh, these are, uh, uh, of course, uh, there is no uh, experiment for these uh, SUN cases. And so this is very uh, interesting new direction of the research uh, of the uh, Fermi Hubbard model. Okay? And in experiment, uh, uh, in our experiment, we successfully implement the uh, Fermi Hubbard model, SUN, SU6 Fermi Hubbard model, by working with the Itterbin 173, which has a nuclear spin 5 hertz, and the repulsive interaction with this uh, scattering ranks. And the uh, Fermi Hubbard model is, SU6 Fermi Hubbard model is given like this. And here, the on site interactions are, is uh, nuclear spin independent. This assure the uh, SU and spin symmetry of this system, okay? And in our previous experiment, we successfully demonstrated the formation of SU6 molten sugar state by Pomeranz cooling effect. Uh, in this uh, Pomeranz cooling effect, larger spins uh, carries larger entropy in optical lattice, uh, which result in the cooling of the system. And this was uh, successfully observed in our previous ex experiment here, uh, starting from the same initial temperature and lower temperature is achieved in the system of SU6 uh, than in SU2, okay? And uh, uh, this can be uh, understood with this uh, entropy versus temperature diagram here. And the red curve uh, corresponds to the atoms in a harmonic trap before loading to the optical lattice. And blue curves correspond to the atoms in the optical lattice. Uh, this, one, uh, for the, this one is uh, for the case of SU6, and this one is dust line uh, correspond to the SU2 case. Okay, and uh, starting from this uh, initial temperature in a uh, harmonic trap, and then after adiabatic loading to the optical lattice, uh, lower temperature is achieved uh, in SU6 uh, uh, than in uh, SU2. Yeah, and uh, this uh, uh, scheme uh, was uh, uh, effective uh, for charged degrees of freedom to uh, form a clear multi-plateau uh, in the case of SU6. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, uh, good, but uh, in, in this uh, previous uh, experiment, the initial temperature was not so, not uh, cold enough, so uh, the region of spin correlation was not reached uh, in the previous experiment, okay? And the next apparent target is the spin correlation or quantum magnetism of SU6 Fermi have about the model, yeah. And, uh, but uh, one may wonder whether it is really possible to observe the quantum magnetism of SUN Fermi gas with uh, currently achievable uh, atom temperature. Okay, we uh, consider this uh, question. Um, now, the, our lowest atom temperature in a harmonic trap is about 10% of the Fermi temperature. And this corresponds to the entropy per particle of about one kV, okay? And this value is uh, lower than the entropy of atoms in optical lattice with molten state state with no spin correlation. Uh, in the case of SU6, it is about 1.8 kV, and uh, in the case of SU4, it is about 1.4 kV. So uh, we can expect the formation of some degrees of a spin correlation for these SU6 or SU4 cases, okay? 
And our method for measuring the spin correlation is based on the technique developed by de developed for alkaline atoms by ETH group uh, with this uh, literature. Let me briefly explain this method. Okay, and suppose we have some spin correlation created in the nearest uh, site in the optical lattice like this. To detect this uh, spin correlation, first we uh, suppress the intersite tunneling by increasing the optical potential depth. And then we perform a STO, singlet triplet oscillation, by applying a spin dependent <laughs> potential gradient, like this. And in the presence of the spin dependent potential gradient, like this, then we can introduce additional phase factor here uh, in the wave function. So uh, initially prepared spin singlet state can be transformed to uh, uh, spin triplet state. And initially prepared spin triplet state is transformed to a spin singlet state. That's why this is called a singlet triplet oscillation. And in our experiment, we generate this spin dependent potential gradient by off resonant laser beam with intensity gradient. Because we are working with a uh, nuclear spin, so uh, usual uh, magnetic field gradient is uh, not strong enough. Okay, and uh, in the case of SU2, we apply a factory polarized right uh, to, uh, to induce the uh, right spin, nuclear spin dependent right shift. And here we show the uh, nuclear spin dependent right shift as a function of the detuning uh, with respect to the, some particular uh, uh, optical resonance in the hyperfine spectrum. And uh, we consider these uh, spin pairs uh, uh, for other SU2 spin system. And in the case of SU4, uh, we apply a linearly polarized right. And the uh, right nuclear spin dependent right shift becomes like this. And here, again, we show the uh, nuclear spin dependent right shift as a function of the detuning. Here. And we uh, consider these uh, four spin system as the uh, SU4 spin system in our experiment. Okay, and uh, then to detect this uh, uh, spin correlation, we merge these two sites into a single site. And if the spin singlet state is formed, then uh, two atoms occupy the same a vibrational state, and these two atoms uh, can be converted to the molecule by application of the photo association laser light. And the converted molecule escape from the trap, and in this way, we could detect the spin correlation as an atom loss. And in the case of uh, triplet state, uh, they are, the atoms are not converted to a molecule and no atom loss. Okay, and uh, this is a result of the, such a measurement. And we successfully observed the singlet triplet oscillation for SU4 fermions uh, in a strongly dimerized lattice in this measurement to induce the strong uh, uh, spin correlation in a dimerized lattice. And here um, we uh, uh, fit the damped cosine function to the experimental data. And in a separate measurement, we could determine the total atom number at this value. And so the, this uh, atom loss correspond to the initially prepared spin singlet state. And this atom loss correspond to the initially prepared spin triplet state. And from this uh, uh, result, we can uh, deduce the important quantity of the normalized STO amplitude defined like this. And this quantity is related with the transverse spin correlator like this. And from this result, we can deduce the temperature of the uh, atoms in the dimerized lattice at this low value. Okay. And we repeated this measurement for 
various uh, entropy particle, uh, both for the SU4 and SU2 cases, like this. Here you can clearly see that the larger uh, STO signal is observed for SU4 system uh, than for SU2 system. And from this uh, result, we can deduce the temperature of the atoms in a dimerized optical lattice, like this. Uh, yeah, here again, uh, you can see that the lower temperature is achieved for achieved in a SU4 system than in SU2 system. And the, in the case of SU2, we have only one possibility of a spin pairs of this uh, pair. But uh, in the case of SU4, we have six uh, different spin uh, uh, pairs uh, in a dimerized lattice. So, uh, 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 the spin degrees of freedom uh, play an important role or also uh, in this uh, dimerized lattice. And this uh, result can be cons also considered as a Pomeranz cooling effect, but now on a quantum magnetism in a dimerized lattice. Okay? And uh, this is the result for a uh, dimerized lattice. And we apply this method uh, for measuring the antiferromagnetic spin correlation for SU6 fermions for various uh, lattice geometries. Okay, and uh, this is a case of the 1D uh, optical lattice, and uh, uh, with this uh, Hubbard parameters, and here uh, we clearly observe the uh, singlet triplet oscillation signal for strong ring in uh, uh, optical along the uh, when the optical lattice and almost no uh, spin uh, STO signal for a weak link uh, between the 1D chains. Okay. And we note that uh, uh, this uh, STO signal is not a simple cosine function. And this is because uh, there are many uh, spin pairs uh, in, in the case of the SU6. Uh, which contribute to the STO signal with different uh, frequencies. So uh, the expected STO signal uh, is given like this, which consists of the three uh, frequency components. And the uh, observed signal is well fitted with this uh, expected uh, function, of STO function. Okay, uh, this is a case of the 1D chain and uh, we also performed this measurement for 2D square lattice. And again, we observed the STO signal for strong link in the uh, 2D square lattice and almost no STO signal for weak link between the uh, 2D layers. Okay, and we also uh, apply this method for uh, 3D isotropic cubic lattice with this uh, Hubbard parameter. And again, we clearly observe the STO signal like this. Okay, uh, so uh, this is good. But um, uh, in principle, uh, we can deduce the temperature of the atoms in uh, optical lattice from this uh, uh, signal amplitude by comparing the, uh, this result with the uh, uh, sophisticated theoretical calculation. But Unfortunately, uh, right now, there is no such a uh, theoretical calculation. So we roughly, or we roughly estimate the uh, temperature of the atoms by assuming this relation in the, in the spirit of atomic limit. And uh, here, uh, PS and PT0 uh, represent the uh, population of the spin singlet state and the triplet state. And J is the exchange energy. And by assuming this uh, relation, then we can roughly estimate the temperature of the atoms in the optical lattice at this uh, low value. Okay, uh, this is uh, not the accurate one, but uh, maybe order of magnitude is uh, correct, I think. Okay, and uh, here we plot the 
observe the spin correlation as a function of the number of nearest neighbors with a strong ring or a weak ring. And uh, this one uh, corresponds to the case of the dimerized lattice uh, with uh, one uh, strong ring and five weak rings. And this one corresponds to the 1D lattice with uh, two strong rings with uh, and four weak rings. And this one corresponds to the 2D square lattice and this one uh, uh, for uh, 3D cubic lattice with no uh, weak rings. And this result suggests that uh, lower temperature is achieved for larger number of weak rings. And, uh, and we picture uh, effective for the entropy redistribution. Okay, and uh, we know that the similar results are already reported for the case of SU2 fermions by Etihad group. Okay. And we also uh, uh, perform the spin correlation measurement for SU4 fermions in a 3D isotropic cubic lattice. And, and the parameters, uh, experimental parameters are uh, given like this. And we also uh, successfully observed the uh, singlet triplet oscillation signal. And if we increase the temperature a little bit, then uh, STO signal disappears. And uh, in this way, we could also uh, successfully observe the spin correlation in a 3D isotropic cubic lattice also with uh, uh, SU4 fermions. Okay, and uh, with this uh, result, we can say that the uh, ethereum has now joined the group of quantum magnetism research of the fermi Hubbard model, but with uh, uh, exotic uh, SUN uh, spin symmetry. Okay, and uh, this is the summary of the first part of my talk. And we successfully observed the anti-ferromagnetic spin correlation, uh, both for SU4 system and SU6 system. And uh, uh, we uh, discussed uh, some prospect of the uh, quantum magnetism, SUN quantum magnetism research. And first, uh, we think that uh, uh, we can explore some uh, novel uh, quantum magnetic phase by combining the SU4 fermion and uh, non-standard optical lattice, like a triangular lattice and a honeycomb lattice and also a deep lattice. And recently we are particularly interested in the case of the SU4 uh, spin singlet state uh, in a bracket lattice like this. And uh, this is a uh, uh, four body uh, entangled state and uh, uh, it was uh, discussed in this previous literature. And more recently, uh, this is discussed uh, from the viewpoint of the topological physics of SUN version of the Holden phase. And uh, toward this uh, uh, research, we also uh, performed the STO measurement uh, with the SU4 fermions loaded in a, a bracket lattice. Okay, and also uh, the detection of the possible long range spin correlation is important task. And uh, of course, the uh, development of the quantum dust <laughs> microscope is, uh, 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 can, uh, uh, can detect, uh, uh, directly detect the long range spin correlation and uh, in our previous experiment, we uh, developed the uh, quantum gas microscope for bosonic isotope. And uh, yeah, this is good, but uh, this is uh, not a, a spin dependent detection. And in our, uh, in another uh, experiment, we also developed the uh, uh, technique of a Faraday imaging of the quantum gas microscope this uh, method has inherent uh, nuclear spin dependence, so we hope to uh, apply this technique for uh, 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 quantum gas microscopy for uh, ITB-173. And also, um, uh, we think that uh, uh, 
study of the atom loss behavior with two-body SWB dissipation is, is a, a nice probe for the uh, long-range spin correlation. This was uh, theoretically uh, studied by uh, Anna Maria Ray Group and uh, uh, Andrew, Andrew Derry. And, and the related experiment was recently uh, reported by, from uh, Hamburg Group. Okay. And also, uh, probably we may uh, need further cooling of SUN for observing the SUN uh, quantum uh, magnetism. And uh, yeah, uh, the spatial entropy redistribution techniques should work also for SU and uh, uh, system, as well as the spin related entropy redistribution method like this. And at the same time, we uh, think that the finite temperature phase diagram for SU and fermion is uh, really uh, uh, useful because uh, with this information, we can um, know the target temperature for observing the specific quantum phase of the SU and uh, magnetism. Okay, and uh, for the rest of my talk, I switch to the second topic of the uh, two-orbital quantum simulator. Uh, in this uh, workshop, uh, Jun Yi and uh, Simon Fering uh, gave a nice talk about this topic, so I only briefly uh, explain this uh, experiment. And uh, uh, the, uh, another uh, unique feature of a two-electron atom is the existence of a two stable uh, electronic orbit of the uh, singlet, grand state singlet S0 and uh, metastable state of the 2 P0. And there is a, a spin exchange interaction uh, between these two, between the atoms in this uh, electronic state. And so this system is uh, nice for the study of the uh, spin orbital physics, such as the Condor effect. Uh, and the localized spin in uh, in the condor effect, localized spin in one orbit strongly uh, influenced the quantum transport of the particle in uh, another orbital by forming a spin singlet state. And in a solid state system, the condor effect manifests an uh, increase of the resistance for decreasing the temperature. And for studying this uh, condor effect, a uh, naive condor effect, um, antiferromagnetic uh, and uh, spin exchange interaction should be antiferromagnetic, uh, as was uh, mentioned in the Zimon's talk. And yeah, um, the uh, uh, spin exchange interaction is proportional to the uh, difference of the uh, two scattering rings of the two different uh, interorbital uh, ch scattering channels, eg plus and eg minus, and this was. Uh, uh, measured for two uh, atomic species, 173 tribium and strontium-87, and they were found to be uh, ferromagnetic. And uh, yeah, uh, in the previous talk, a uh, nice uh, uh, scheme of the confinement-induced resonance was demonstrated uh, to change the spin behavior of the spin exchange uh, uh, interaction. And this is a uh, really nice uh, direction of the research. But uh, in our approach, we explore a uh, different possibility of ETB 171 as a possible condo simulator. And uh, on, only the uh, ground state scattering range is known to be very small. And to determine the interorbital scattering range, we, we first uh, cool down the uh, it will be 171 uh, below the Fermi temperature with a sympathetic cooling with it will be 173. And then we load this uh, cold it will be 171 into a, a 3D optical lattice with uh, uh, magic wavelengths. And then we perform the uh, high resolution uh, uh, clock uh, uh, spectroscopy. Yeah, uh, this is. Uh, 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 occupancy, occupancy 
is uh, resolved in this high resolution spectroscopy. And th this is a result of such a measurement. Uh, these uh, signals come from the single occupied site and O. Oh, and uh, these uh, signals come from the W occupied site. And the resonance frequency are well resolved uh, due to the large on site interorbital interaction. And we repeated this measurement for various uh, magnetic fields, and uh, yeah, similar results were uh, obtained uh, in a uh, Selmont uh, uh, experiment. And uh, I don't explain the detail, but uh, this behavior is consistent with the negative value of V exchange, which means the uh, spin, spin exchange interaction is uh, antiferromagnetic for uh, it will be 171. And uh, from this result, we can determine the interorbital scattering rings like this. And so, uh, in this way, um, uh, we could determine the, uh, we could found that the it will be 171 has the required anti ferromagnetic uh, spin exchange interaction. So, this is, uh, this is uh, useful for the quantum simulation of the condor effect. Okay, and uh, this is a summary of the second part of my talk. And uh, toward the observation of the condor effect, the, uh, to, to know the condor temperature is very important. And by using this uh, expression for weak coupling regime, we evaluate the condor temperature at this uh, value. And 10 nanokelvin is uh, not too low. Uh, so uh, we think that uh, this can be achieved in, uh, in our experiment. And uh, for probing the uh, condor effect, we plan to study the behavior of dipole oscillation, which was discussed in uh, Anna Maria Ray group uh, uh, previously. Okay, and uh, this is a summary of my talk. And thank you very much for your attention. First part of your talk, when, yes. so when you look at the spin correlation, were you able to determine the spin configurations? So because you have you have you say there are various predictions of a proposal, various spin patterns, but those are yeah. all only up to SU six. Four, six right? Yeah. So so um, that, no. Uh, right, right now, uh, our measurement is sensitive to the uh, spin. Uh, uh, cor cor Correlation, yeah, uh, not uh, uh, reveal the uh, uh, formation of some exotic quantum magnetic phase. Maybe the quantum gas microscope will directly measure the such a uh, spin configuration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <coughs> so uh, <coughs> comparing SU two and SU n models, yes. I think the, the physics on the doping should also be very different. Yes. Um, we can uh, study experimentally, but uh, uh, as, a, as far as I know, there is no such a theoretical study. Yeah, experimentally, yeah, it is uh, interesting. So, you, you, sorry, for example, just to give an example, so in, in the 12 models, you do a half filling, and then yeah. you have a perfect nesting of the terminal surfaces, yeah. and you right at this point, yeah. you should see when you're filling one third, there's no such nesting. Yes. 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 Yes, uh, we uh, uh, perform the pre preliminary measurement for the loss, uh, to the, uh, the loss uh, between the uh, 
EEG channel, and uh, so far we couldn't observe a uh, significant uh, effect of the loss. So we think that the uh, uh, loss is uh, very small for this system. Yes. Uh, I noticed there are more states, and uh, one state can be barely measured. Is there something across? Uh, 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 yes. Is there something that suggests that there is a barely measured? Is there this one? Yeah. yeah um, is there any particular it, reason we could? Uh, yes. Um, um, uh, from from the but uh, the selection selection rule, uh, the uh, easy minor state is uh, more uh, easily excited. Yeah, and easy plus state is uh, not uh, <coughs> uh, 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 not allowed uh, in the uh, in the absence of magnetic field. But the uh, magnetic field mix the easy plus state and easy minor state, and uh, so. Uh, yeah, we, we can also uh, excite the easy plus state and the Zeeman pairings uh, measurement. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, they, they measured. Yeah, but in our experiment, uh, the sensitivity is not so good, so we couldn't observe the easy uh, plus state uh, at low magnetic field. In the high magnetic field. Uh, I didn't show, but uh, uh, yeah, here yeah. uh, we observed easy plus state. Yeah, also. Um, uh, in yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, and th this is the uh, uh, condo effect. Yes. Yes. Uh, condo effect is 